Winfried, what, what do you think about uh, this first day of the EPC meeting? Well, you know, for me it's the sixth, um, the sixth meeting as program director, so I already foresee what will happen and what will not happen, so I thought um, we went through many, many, many proposals and the group work was, I think, quite hard this time um, because we had some uh, dominance of particular topics, uh, which was not the case last year, and we had really to see what would be the best proposals out of several for a similar topic. I think that was hard. We missed, uh, as I told you um, an hour ago, we missed some important topics. In my personal view, influenza, I would have expected more influenza sessions or proposals, uh, malaria or parasitology. Um, stewardship was was not really was a little bit a neglected area this time, but of course, um, I mean this is only the proposals for the invited program. We can still expect um, submissions, abstract submissions for influenza, for malaria, for other parasitology issues, for stewardship. So um, I'm I'm excited and keen to learn what will be the submissions. Perhaps they totally compensate um, the neglected areas um, um, in, in, in the proposal um, um, part of the business. So we'll see, we'll see. On the diagnostics front, I was also amazed to see that we didn't get uh, even a small number of submissions uh, concerning traditional microbiology or even molecular diagnostics. So, yes, you're right. Yeah. So yeah, that's a, a, true. A majority of proposals that we received are around omics, the microbiome, next gen sequencing, metagenomics, yeah. machine learning. Um, so I wonder if, if this is what really interests everyone that comes to the conference, or we need to try and uh, ensure that more traditional uh, concepts and fields are, are still represented in our program. Yeah. Yes, we need to go through the proposals list tomorrow and see what really needs to be added in terms of, you know, more classical topics. Um, and I'm sure we can compensate that. Uh, and I mean, these are hot topics. Metabolomics, um, um, I think microbiome studies, these are hot topics that need their place in the program. We cannot omit it, uh, omit them. Um, but of course, we need to compensate um, if they are, should be too dominant. Um, and we did not go through the educational part of the program, so this brings usually more traditional aspects into the program for young physicians, microbiologists, ID physicians. So let's see. So in 2019, we were extremely successful with uh, achieving the gender balance that we uh, initially set as a target, yeah. so to have a 50-50 yeah. uh, balance and uh, now we see that we still need to work very hard to ensure that this is uh, sustained. Well, let's wait for the statistics. I think in the afternoon session we tried hard to correct this and perhaps we are already near, near to 50%. I, I can imagine. Um, and we still have the option to um, to see whether we can add more females uh, among the chairpersons. Um, so I'm rather confident, so I'm not too disappointed about this aspect, no. Uh, I, I think we can make it. I'm sure we can make it. Yeah, I, I agree, but I, I am concerned a little bit uh, with the geographical uh, balance. I, I, I would want to see more uh, proposals coming from uh, low resource settings, from yeah. uh, Eastern Europe. We, we don't get too many of those. Yes, we, last year, you remember, we had that um, African session, uh, South American session, and um, a session focused on, on Asian aspects of microbiology infectious disease, we can still add those if we have enough slots in Paris. 
Um, that's our job to, to add those. If we think um, these are two neglected areas and we are too focused on, on Central European countries or Europe, uh, so I think it's up to us to see what we need to add um, if we are through the meeting tomorrow afternoon. And I must say it was, it was like that during the past years also. We, we recognized immediately, well, we could, should add this one and this one and perhaps even work on the proposals that were accepted today to reduce them from two hour to one hour or to merge them to one hour to one, two hour and so forth. So it, it, it's, it's a little bit work um, after the meeting, um, but uh, I think it can be done uh, before the invitations need to be sent out. So next four weeks or next five weeks or so, I guess. Then we are through. Yeah. And what else? Well, it's a nice venue here, no? Yeah. It's Palma de Mallorca. We never were in Palma de Mallorca for a program committee meeting. Yeah, and actually uh, quite a few of our EPC members uh, mentioned it was their first visit ever to, to this lovely yeah. place. So it's a great opportunity also uh, so, and to convene here. When we discussed this in the afternoon, I recognized that we will have um, the first program committee meeting in Spain and the second one as well. So perhaps we are a little bit dominated by our famous President Jesus, who also comes from Spain, but um, it's okay, no? It's okay, if you like Spain. So are, are you insinuating that uh, the next uh, EPC may take place in Rome? Yeah, for example, Rome, yes. We, we have been in Rome a few years ago, in winter's time, so in the January meeting, which was quite nice, I must say. Yeah. It's similar to Madrid, kind of, you know, in terms of reachability, accessibility, and also the hotel, and so it was also a very nice venue. For me, it would be the easiest place to go would be Zurich or Basel, of course. <laughs> and for you, perhaps, as well, no? Or Vienna. Zurich is, or Vienna, yeah, Vienna, right. Yes, yeah, so you, you need to, to propose Vienna. Yeah, it's very timely also yeah. uh, for 2021. So what, what do you think uh, will be um, the discussion tomorrow about the keynote speakers? Did you, do, you have, do you have the proposals in your mind? Um, I think that there are some uh, quite innovative ones, uh, bringing basic science and uh, interesting concepts, where, where others introduce uh, well-known uh, and, and familiar faces. Mm -hmm. And like every year, we will have to balance between these. Yeah, we need to see that also that we have uh, a female-male balance in our keynote speakers, and some kind of geographic balance. As far as I remember, we already have three US speakers. Um, don't you look okay or anyone from, from, from two or three? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we need to struggle a little bit tomorrow to, to, to <coughs> finally have that balance that we want. Yeah, but it should be possible. But we have not many female proposals, I must say. Yeah. And with regards to the open forum, do, do you have some initial ideas? Was well, we have that, uh, we have that um, proposal for, I think it's uh, from the European Union um, funding um, um, institution. We, I think that was done already last year. I think it's possible to, to repeat it. And we have that, I think, very interesting proposal regarding uh, how it looks publishing like. Um, in, in five years from now on. That's something I think is very interesting. Um, I think, yes, perhaps this examination um, topic, examination in microbiology, um, that could be something um, for, the, uh, for the open forum as well. And well, let's see what, what else comes um, until tomorrow. 
Yeah. Just because we, we are seeing uh, a somewhat in increasing number of submissions related to professional affairs yeah. of, of the society. So yeah. not only strictly scientific sessions. Yeah.